He damn near smoked you. We see you on twerk. It's your boy James. Trust the process. I want to just talk about protecting your peace and sometimes it's not easy to protect your peace. Sometimes we have to go through those hard times in order to appreciate the good times. Stop being dirty. It's your boy Jim Smith to stop being dirty. Stop eating dirty. Trust the process. Protect your peace. Link in the bio for the Instagram, the Twitter, the merchandise, all that good. If you watch right now, I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. You have to protect your mental health. It's not just about what you eat. In. It's not all about the physical. The mental health is huge. Sometimes you you have so much on your mind, and then you start going. You know, it just builds up, and you end up going crazy. Do things that free your mind. Go on a bike ride. Go on a walk. Don't have no headphones on. Just listen to the everyday, the birds chirping, the car. You know, I'm going upstate right from here. Right after this blog, I'm going up, driving upstate. Going three hours out, going to the cabin, going to protect my peace. Because that's so important. Understand that it's okay to put the phone down sometimes. Don't be in the spaces. Don't be on Instagram. Don't be on Twitter. Don't be on YouTube. Understand there's a life outside of what your phone has. And get your mind right. Because that's too sir. God, midnight sadness, midnight sadness. Now, there's a lot going on with Sue Surf and Jack Boy. Let's get right into it. You know, there's a few blogs out. You might have heard of it. You might have not. I'm glad that I waited to see everything unfold before I put the camera on, so I could give the um build up to where it is right now. I want to start here though. Not everything is for the internet. Not everything is for the internet. You know, a lot of, I just did a, you seen the blog I put out where I said about, um, where I was titled about what happened with Harlem Whites or whatever the case. You see, I didn't talk about it in detail because it's not for the internet. Not everything has to be put out on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you if you cool with someone or once cool or just overall having respect as being an adult and a grown ass man. You don't have to, you don't owe nobody shit. Nobody, at the end of the day, people want to see you struggle. They want to see you stress. That's why the negativity sells more than anything. It's unfortunate, but it's the world we live in. Negativity is going to spread faster than positivity. I don't want to be a part of that clown show. I don't, and you shouldn't either. But sometimes we get caught up in the circus. And I think that's what happened with Sue Surf and Jack Boy. So long story short, basically Surf, Jack, Jack Boy was on Champion and uh, he's with Cuban, who him and Surf don't get along. And Cuban is basically ranting on Surf. Goes on a 15, 20 minute rant. You know, just, just dissing Surf and talking about Surf, saying Surf ghost rights and Surf this Surf. Listen, whatever. And Surf is upset that Jack Boy was sitting right there and didn't defend him. He says, if you cool with the ops, that makes you the ops. If you cool with the ops, you the ops. Now, my comment to that is I 100% agree. But not in the instance of little battle rap talk. I don't play that op talk unless it's literally the ops. If I fought somebody, meaning somebody wanted to do physical harm to me, vice versa, and we banging and, and we, we trying to hurt each other, and I see you with that person that try to put physical harm on me or put physical harm on me, yeah. You the ops now. And I'm taking it in the sense that not, oh, because we had a fight. No, I'm talking about you don't even know how up it is still with me, with me and this person. So now it's worse than just me saying we ain't cool no more. Just understand, tread lightly because now, God forbid, when I catch him and you with him. So that's why I take that statement real crazy. Like, but I take it on that level, on a street level. A physical altercation level, a real life head on swiv swivel level. You know what I'm saying? Not on some. This guy was talking about me in battle rap. You were sitting there. You're the ops now. That's some clown shit. You's a sucker. All that talk. I don't think that's necessary. I think that's whack. I think that's baby stuff. I think at the end of the day, surf's like, yo, me and you break bread, and you got your man's. So first of all, Jack Boy's head was down the whole time. 
wasn't entertaining it, head nodding it, yes man in it, nothing. He was just sitting there, minding his business while this dude was going off. This dude who Jack Boy knows way longer than Surf, has a rapport with him. They know each other's families, chill with each other. They're friends for real. Surf and Jack Boy been friends for three days. So let's kind of be real on that. Like, yeah, y'all chilled and it's fun bowling and Jack Boy probably, you know, shot a bowling ball. And like, it's, you know, I, I cannot picture Jack Boy doing anything sports related except stabbing footballs. So I didn't, I don't think he was bowling, but I'm just saying y'all cool in that setting, whatever the case. And now suddenly that's me, friends, the ones we can depend on, friends. Come on, man, give me a fucking break. You got a problem with what Cuban said? You talk to that man. You talk to that man. Let's not, let's not mix real life shit, real life op talk. Like, yo, you, you the enemy now, cause that, you know what I'm saying? The enemy of my enemy is my enemy type bullshit. Like I get, no, an enemy, a friend of my enemy is my enemy. I agree, but that's on some street shit. And you know that, Surf. Surf has this like, you know what? This is not a, this is not a therapy session with Surf. I like Surf. I think he's good for the culture in a sense of he, he keeps shit lit. He has a big following. A lot of things are happening that's pushing the culture forward in promotion because of surf. I have to give him that credit. The whole Midnight Madness shit is lit. It could have went down. It could have went left. And the question now where everybody's asking, where, where do they stand now? Because by the way, Jack Boy wasn't backing down at all. He, he was defending himself. They're going back at it. It was just something that looked real messy. And I said, yo, I'm not surprised they're talking like this because they're not friends. You know, and at the end of the day, what happened today is what's lit. They spoke. Jack Boy says, I just want to say because it was public, the way we went at it yesterday, we should publicly do it here. They did his spaces and they basically uh, surf apologized. You know, uh, Jack Boy pointed out what he didn't like. And, like, he even, they even came to, to a point of conversation where Jack Boy's like, Yeah, I feel you. But with that being said, what you also said here, that was wrong. That was whack. Surf was like, You're right. It was whack. I did say that, and that was whack. So, for you to be able to do that is super fire and commendable. And I think that's dope that y'all were, were able to do that. And at the end of the day, I do agree. Like, you did argue in public. Now squash it in public. You know, a lot of suckers do shit like they'll say something on the internet, on a blog, and now suddenly you think because you hit my phone with an apology. Nah, nah. So you got to take that back to the internet with it. You got to take that back to the internet when you did that. You know what I'm saying? And th that's what real men do at the end of the day, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that was dope. Like, even when me and drugs had our, had our, had our shit going on, drugs even said in the, in, on the same channel, that he came at me on is the same channel he went on and said, yo, because I did this on the channel, I want to do it here again. You know what I'm saying? My fault, whatever, whatever the case, you know, when, when we squashed the, the, our situation, that was real shit. Cause he could have pulled me to the side and said, yo, what I did, I didn't handle it right. Da, da, da. We did have that conversation also, but for him to also do it on the camera, that's how it should be done. That's how it should be done. That's how you should treat me. You know why? Cause that's how I'm gonna treat you. And I live life like that. I want to, I want this, I demand the same respect that I give. You know, this goes with relationships and all that. Like we both, we both at the table, my side is leaning. It shouldn't be like that. Quoting a Joe Biden song, by the way. It shouldn't be like that. You know, I have a demands in friendships and, and, and in life with people who's around me because I want to grow. I want to learn from you. You know what I'm saying? I want to steal sharp and steal. We should learn from each other. I don't want to be around someone who's going to bring me down or someone that's going to slow me up. You know what I'm saying? If you want to jump on this winning train, let's win together. Let's ride this train out. You know what I mean? So, but back to the situation at hand, you know, as far as like the surf and Cuban shit, I really don't know. Like, I feel like y'all going back and forth is kind of wicked. You know, um, I, I don't think a battle is going to happen. So I feel like only something bad might happen, you know? So if this, this if this promotion is not gonna lead to a battle, I think y'all should just chill out because then it turns out to just, you know, people are just talking a lot. You know, there's other things we're saying, baby mama rumors and this person did that and I don't really wanna get too much into that. I don't wanna be the one to promote shit, shit like that. I'm sure other people will. And you can just go to their channels for it. I don't really wanna, I'm trying to protect the peace of the situation and take something good from a, a, a situation that started off bad. You know what I'm saying? And a lesson learned is, Understand you don't got to run to the internet all the time with certain shit. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, this all, this all could have been prevented with a phone call to Jack Boy from Surf. And and that was that that right there could have nipped it in the bud 
right then and there because Jack Boy didn't have to do no public explanation on why he didn't defend you because he doesn't have to. He just doesn't have to. He's not obligated to do that, especially with someone who was actually friends with, not an associate with. I just say y'all break bread and shit like that, but these dudes knew each other for years. Y'all two know they knew each other for minutes. You know what I'm saying? So let's be serious. But I'm glad y'all went and squashed it. I'm glad Midnight Madness goes on. Um, at the end of the day, um, I don't know. Oh, I see y'all. Uh, Twerk and um, Snake Eyes is gonna battle for the belt. Salute to Twerk and Snake Eyes for that. Currently, right now, I'm blocked by <laughs> Twerk. I don't know if it's because of the blog or because of the call out, but I'm blocked. So as far as me and Twerk battling on Midnight Madness, sadness. So uh, life goes on, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing personal, I'm just gonna speak the truth. There's been plenty of times that I've, I, I've uplifted Twerk and many other battlers on this channel when they do great. But when you do horrific, horrendously, disgustingly dirty, I must point that out also. You should appreciate a person like me. You should appreciate the people in your life that's not gonna say, you'll get them next time. No, you really fucked up and analyzed why you did that. If you don't care about this, they don't care about it and don't waste nobody's time or yourself or your blessings or your talent. You don't have no one in your corner saying it, I'll say it to you. And I understand a lot of people don't like critiques because people feel stuck and don't know how to change themselves and they're afraid of change. This is, I'm off the twerk shit now, I'm just talking in general in life. Fuck the yes man, tell me no. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Just don't tell me that I'm doing right because we're cool. Show me we're cool by guiding me into the right direction. Trust the process, protect your peace. Stop being dirty.